Year prior to the surgery, I could barely bend um, my left knee and I could not bend my right knee at all. It slowed me way down. I was used to doing a lot of different stuff like karate, bicycle riding, and motorcycle riding and all kinds of stuff. We saw Miss Oliver, she was having severe pain in both knees, eight out of 10 in her right knee and five out of 10 in her left knee. He looked at the x-rays that I brought over and said, you definitely need knee surgery. These are her x-rays. You can see there should be a nice space between the two bones here and she has no space at all on the right knee. And in fact, she's kind of collapsing into what we call varus where the knee's angled in or bow legged. So we recommended uh, knee replacement surgery for her. And that's where we basically go in and resurface or put a cap on the end of each bone to try to protect the bone. So now when you walk, you're not walking bone on bone. It's very analogous when a dentist puts a crown on your tooth, we're just trying to protect the bone ends. It's where you can walk without pain. We'll do one knee, get that one right, get them in therapy, and then we'll do the second knee, usually three months later. Therapy was not easy. Um, you have to work at it. Yes, it hurts to do it, but in the end, you've got a knee that doesn't bother you. Mm -hmm. If you're somebody that goes to therapy and then you go home, you do your homework, you, you know, you push when you need to push, you're mostly gonna have a good outcome in terms of just your overall functional progress. And I slowly started back into karate with all the stretching and the easier things to do. And I've just worked up to, I'm about able to do everything again. That's what makes my job so rewarding is taking care of patients like her. Super nice lady with a really bad problem who comes in and is just very upset, you know, with the way their life is at that time and then you're able to, to do this for them and then see them kind of get through. It's a little rough at first, but once they start to progress and get better, it's really fun to watch them get better, be able to do those things they wanted to do and you were a part of that. And it's nice to help somebody who's, you know, just such a nice person uh, get better and, and get back to doing the things that they, they want to do. A team effort from physician to physician assistant, physical therapist, uh, everybody works together. Thing is, the end result that I'm having is so much better quality of life than what I had before that you need to think about what you could have afterwards instead of what you're going through now. It's a whole lot better now.